before my mission, it was a lot of a lot of wanting to go, but I wanted to do it knowing that I wanted to be there. Because I had a testimony that the church was true. I felt that it was. So that wasn't really a big issue for me. It was more just trying to to get myself to where I wanted to be there and that I was prepared so that I wouldn't be wasting anybody's time, especially the Lord's time. So I remember I was at, I was studying at BYU Hawaii before my mission, and I needed to know if the Book of Mormon was true. And to me, if the Book of Mormon was true, I was sold. And of course, like I just said, I, I had a testimony. I felt that it was, but I really wanted to to know. So I remember taking a Book of Mormon class, and our homework was to read three chapters from the Book of Mormon every day. So I started to do that. And I, I tried to do it well. I tried to understand it. I tried to to read the footnotes, get all the details. And I got to the end. And of course, every night I prayed to know if it was true. But I didn't really get a solid answer other than it just felt right. And I got to Moroni 10, where the promise is found, where anybody can ask God to know if it's true or not. So I remember kneeling down next to my bed. And it was... It was almost dark as the sun was setting and I felt like okay now's the time now's the time when I'm gonna know and this is gonna help me get ready for my mission and this is going to resolve any doubts that I may have had so I knelt down and I asked if it was true and when I finished my prayer I still I still didn't feel anything and I was just waiting for for a click I guess and it never really came that when I asked if the Book of Mormon was true. So I reread Moroni 10. And in Moroni 10, it's, I don't think they really mean it this way, but I took it this way. It says, ask if these things are not true. And I took it as, ask God if it's false, if the Book of Mormon's a lie. So I did. I knelt down and I asked if it was a lie. And I remember right away just a sensation that was was incredible it was the same sensation that you would receive when a moment of confidence comes when a pretty girl looks at you and you know that she likes you back or maybe you you just made the three-point winning shot like just confidence and I asked if it was false and I received that that sensation and I knew it, it wasn't I knew that Nephi, that Alma, Mosiah, I knew that they were all real people and that th that book strengthened my faith in Jesus Christ and that that propelled me to, to get ready for my mission and really lock down. And of course, like all missionaries, they wish that they prepared a little bit more and I'm the same way, but that really helped me before my mission.